start recording. So I'm recording now as well, in case uh, this doesn't get out. I'm doing a live transmission, right folks? I think I'm live right now. I'm on the screen on the um, thingy majig. <laughs> Here's what you, here. I'll show you what I can see right now. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, anybody? Anybody out there? Anybody can uh, get me live? Can anybody hear me? Am I uh, getting a? Oh, what's going on? Oh. <laughs> this is crazy, man. I'm on live. Um. Right. Go back on this. Live. Oh man, I had ideas. By the way, I'm on a diet. By the way, folks, so you can tell how slim I am. Like, lost loads of weight, and I've lost about 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 a pound. Lost of a pound. I'm on live, and I, I hope you can hear me. I don't know. It's um. Let's see. I don't know what to. I don't know what to do. Like. Be honest. I'll go here and then see if there's any chat. None watching, no one's watching. Oh, it goes to red. No one is watching at all. That's very reassuring. Very reassuring. Why isn't anybody watching me? I'm on live, I'm doing a live test folks. And I thought, oh, one watching. There's one person watching, it says one watching, one watching. Right, whoever's watching, can you hear me? Can you see me clearly on the screen? Do I look cool? <laughs> oh man, I have an idea to, um, talk just to test me live streaming there's one person watching right and i'm going up to the microphone so sort of like um that's why i lean forward folks you don't do that go uh, uh, i'm in the right speaker now i'm in the right microphone <laughs> going across to the left microphone this is a live stream from bacon head merseyside Ladies and gentlemen, roller coaster ride. A <laughs> special live stream because, folks, I want a big, like, say a big thank you to all my viewers out there, all the subbers. I reached over 200 subbers, folks. I <laughs> got to 207 subbers. 207 subscribers. So I think it's it's worth celebrating. And then maybe in the next, maybe in a month or so, I might get to 208. But yeah. I want to thought I'd do. This is, um, this is a pure test. I don't know who the one is watching. But anyway, you don't have to identify yourself. I just need to know. <laughs> top chat top chat what's that called it's called live chat isn't it live chat top chat live chats all messages are visible some messages such as potential spam may not be visible let's let's select live chat now i always wonder what live chat was because it's not available when you're watching someone else's videos is it but sure enough i'm on live chat now and I want to ask a few questions, folks. I mean, obviously, if hardly anyone tunes into me while I'm on live, it doesn't matter. I'm recording it anyway in case it doesn't work. I think my microphone's working, I don't know. But the point I'm making is, I need some money. I want you to donate. I've got 207 subscribers, right, folks? Now, if a hundred of you give me ten pound, <laughs> if a hundred.
hundred of you give me ten pounds each, right? At least ten pounds, right? Let's just suppose I asked everyone who's who sub subscribed to me, right? For ten pounds or ten dollars, say like ten pounds in American money would be about fifteen to twenty dollars, wouldn't it, folks? Fifteen to twenty dollars. I want your money. Here comes my Bob Geldof impersonation. Send your money, no. Send your money, no. Roller coaster ride needs a new computer. Roller coaster ride needs a new computer. Because, to be on oh no, they found me. The cops are coming. I better get off. Sorry, folks, I better get off. <laughs> hey, this is New York. Okay, there's still only one person watching. Probably watching Disbelief. Probably thinking, who's this mad knobhead? But, um, I don't know. Better not swear, just in case. Can you say knob? Can you say knob online? Knob heads. Knob head. <laughs> See if I get blocked in that way. Not. <laughs> not. As freezes like the screen freezes. Not. Anyone watching? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, my question is, guys. Um, anyone who isn't watching, and you might catch up with this later when it's, you know. I don't know, I'm doing a little test here how long it goes, and just for fun, like. And basically, I had an idea. I don't ask for donations, folks. None of my videos are monetized, apart from the ones that are um, someone else's songs. You know, like Pink Floyd songs, Easy Top, or whatever. They're all monetized. They all caught up to me, folks. Aerosmith caught up to me. Muse caught up to me. You know, the only person that hasn't caught up to me to monetize one of my videos is Prince. For me gold video, right? Which is quite mind blowing, isn't it? So I thought, like, I, I thought, let's do a little mad test here, guys. Let's just suppose now I wanted to go online and do a live stream and just be myself, right? And do things like this, right? Mmm, <laughs> bogeys. Mmm, I'm tasty though. They really eat me bogey, I'm just joking, obviously. <laughs> I can't do that and pretend to me. I go, like, I go, I go like that. And someone will go, how can you eat your earwax if you got earphones in? <laughs> so I can't do that, like. Elapsed time, one minute. Elapsed time, it says one hour and four minutes. What's that all about? What's going on? What kind of time zone's going on here, man? And what's it called, man? Sponsorship? Um, advertiser, you know, adver adverts. Instead of adverts, come over and go, Bruce Budweiser. We <laughs> get like a monetized, like, <laughs> stop, mate. <laughs> Start making money selling beer, like. No, the thing is, right, folks. All of you that are watching, all one of you who are watching, like. Look, it says you can actually see it in the background there. You can look, you can see that there. I think I don't know. If you can, I should. <laughs> what I'm watching. Anyway, I need to raise dosh. I need to raise some money, guys, right? Because my computer, this is one of the reasons I haven't been posting videos on YouTube. The main reason. My computer's crap. It's too slow. It's not good enough for um, editing high def videos, basically. And the other mad thing is, I need a computer for um, video editing to make really good quality videos, right? And the other reason is, um, oh, what was the other reason? I can't remember. But anyway, this is cool, this man. It's like. 
technology, man. Who the thought, like, in 2019, I could be sitting here talking to a camera and, like, one person's watching all over the world. <laughs> but I actually got 207 subbers, right? Now, some of them subbers could be relatives and people who know me in person, right, from the, from the locality, right? And I wouldn't obviously expect them to do a donation, right? But I'm, I'm putting out a question. Say I, I asked people or gave people me PayPal or something like that, right? Uh, would you be prepared to give me money? Uh, so I can speed up my computer and buy like a powerful computer to do things that are much better and better quality. I don't know. I'm trying. This is the bad news. The good news is that like I'm prepared to get a computer and try and upgrade things. The bad news is, folks, um, I don't like YouTube anymore. I don't like the internet, and I'm thinking of leaving the internet and taking to the road and doing my tour. I'm still practicing, by the way, folks. I'm still putting my set together. I've got a couple more songs. I've got to finish off so that I've got a mega set when I play in the street or. Hopefully I'm getting over to Holland this summer. I don't know. I'm not gonna it's not rock solid, but I'm gonna try. But I need to raise some cash. I need a new computer. My computer's crap. But anyway, here's the point. I've got some amazing pictures, right folks. I mean it's a matter it's a debate, isn't it, whether you think my artwork is um worth buying basically and I was thinking could I make CDs or videos and people buy them off me right or could I actually just release pictures digital pictures you know high quality prints and sign them you know and people pay for them I'll give you an example I'll try and, I'll try and go through some pictures right to show you what I mean now here's where the bit where he's shrinking to the corner and bip, bip, where you're like, oh, thank goodness, that ugly, horrible, ugly man is out of the way. <laughs> thank goodness for that, they said. Right, display capture, image. Yeah. I'm just checking, I'm just checking things. All right. Now, let's just, let's just say, for example, right, folks, suppose now we're selling some of these pictures. I don't know what. I want your opinions, right? This, this is going to be fun, this, right? Okay. Uh, pictures. Now, I think you can see... See some of these. Now, for example... For example, this one. I'm very fond of this one. Um, this one, for example... <laughs> uh, you, sh you can probably see this on the screen. This is the bananas looking back at Earth from a space station. <laughs> would you be prepared to buy that picture folks well I'm only joking I don't expect anyone to buy that one right, right. okay Um, what about this one <laughs> the banana space station would you be prepared to buy this picture you can see the uh, space station there and that's Earth and the Moon. See the flying around the Moon. And if you, if I was to zoom into this picture, right, I'm sure you can see this on screen. I don't know. This is a test. This to see how colourful and brilliant it is. Like I don't know. See how what a great artist I am. Like see the space shuttle. See the space shuttle there, ready to go. Like in case of an emergency. And it's um, Bushido Bananas Space Station, right? What do you think? Anyone like that? You want to buy it? Hey, I'll, I'll sell a, a signed print of that high high quality for ten pound. <laughs> um, ooh, what's another one? I oh, want about this one. What about this? Hey, ten pound. Anyone want to buy this? How about that? It's the jigsaw piece picture, right? And like you can see the temple there, and then like. On top of this jigsaw piece is another jigsaw piece which has got the temple 
and then on top of that jigsaw piece is another jigsaw piece which is called a temple and obviously it's infinity you see but it's um, red for Liverpool or you know I don't bloody know I, I, I. anyway would you buy that for £10? <laughs> would you buy this for £10? the original um, see it's already signed but if I autographed it like would you buy it for ten pound? It's up to you, folks. Would you buy this for ten pound? <laughs> Look at this. Now this one I'm really fond of. Would you buy that for ten pound? If it was a high, imagine that over your fireplace. Um. You know, over your fireplace. I don't even know you can see these things. Can you see these things? I don't know. Let's have a look. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's have a look. How does it come up? Yeah, it comes up. Yeah. Wow. This is this is. Yeah, it's there, isn't it? Okay. Um. Let's close that down put this back up on full right I've looked at people's opinions what do you think of this print imagine this print if it's digital art folks it's like it's digital it's like my equivalent of pop art it's like Andy Warhol or whatever but like I'm straight but it's a polo you know made of turquoise and I've, I've digitised it and it's like I think it's quite trippy you know but it goes that's just the beginning <laughs> look at this what about that would you buy that would that be that's like Bruce Williams like roller coaster ride meets Damien Hirst meets Jeff Coons isn't it you see the beautiful colours in that like would you buy that put it on your wall over your fireplace what do you think anyone got any ideas what about this version of it would you buy that? Pop art? Polo mints? Polos? Why polos, I hear you ask? You can see the turquoise one there, like. Why polos, I hear you ask? What about that one? £10? Anyone want to buy that signed? Give us a shout. Someone get back to me and say, Man, I'll buy a, a picture off you. <laughs> I'm not desperate for money, folks, or anything like that. I'm actually okay, like, but I need to buy a powerful computer, like. I'm just, this is just that. I'm just, you know, just, <laughs> I don't know. What about that one? Spin. What do you think of that, eh? See the turquoise there? Don't you see it, like? What do you think? I don't know. Anyway, let's go, let's go further into the, deeper into the comedy of, uh, yeah, there's another one. What about that one? See, I take still shots of everything I do digitally, and, and they look quite cool, I think, as, as works of art. Right. What about this picture of Susie Quattro? <laughs> or this one? Would you buy that if I signed it? <laughs> what about this? <laughs> There we go, look at this. <laughs> You've appeared to buy that. Apollo, Apollo, sorry, it's Apollo. <laughs> Will you buy that for 10 quid? 10, 15 dollars? Can anyone hear me out there? I don't know, I'm recording this live, but I don't know. Alright, what about these? Yeah, this one. Would you buy that for 10 pound? And you put it over your wall, you know, put it over your fireplace on the wall, and you just go. And people come in and go, Is that an original roller coaster ride you got there? And they go, Yeah, man. And, 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 and Damien Hirst knocks on your door and goes, Is that an original roller coaster ride? Or Banksy phones you and goes, I hear you've got an original roller coaster ride print there with signed and that, like, I'm interested in buying it, like, you know. Um, there's a couple of other variations, you know, like different colour tones and <laughs> I don't know what to say. 
I don't know. I work hard on these things. <laughs> I mean, it's quite funny, really. But, um, um what's the other one? <laughs> but this is cool. Like, come on. Come on. Who can resist that, like? You know, it's like candy, isn't it? You know, that's what you call eye candy, isn't it? I mean, that's what you call eye candy, isn't it? You know, I, I should be a billionaire by now, but, like, I'm still on Social Security. I need a new computer. I really do. <laughs> well, this is a brief... I mean, come on, look at how trippy that is. It might have been into LSD and magic mushrooms. You, I mean, how trippy is that? <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only person on there that, like, oh, I don't want to show people that because it's too mind blowing? You've already seen that one anyway. Um, what about this? If I sign that, like, you want to buy it? Um, where's the other one I was going to show you? Is, um, it's quite, quite trippy, like. What about this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Concrete wellies, that's called. Here's the other one. Concrete wellies. Look at that man. Imagine, see, I've signed it like, but imagine sign, I sign it and I sell it to people like Prince. As an artist, you know, as a like a sad, sad, stupid, boring, fat man artist that's trying to make some money. Because he needs a, a powerful computer. What about the... Oh yeah, here's, this is funny, guys. I want you to check these pictures out, man. These are pictures. Like, you know what I'm trying to tell... I'm, I'm trying to get across to people. Right? Hey, this is funny. The world's ugliest dog. Wow, look at that, man. <laughs> Would you buy that if I signed it? Like, what about this? A Roman soldier smoking a ciggy. <laughs> <laughs> no way, man. Romans didn't have ciggies, man. Um. All right, this is what I wanted to show. This is good. This is a load of photographs that I've seen. I, I robbed all these off the internet. And look at this, folks. It's like emphasizing how these mo tell me if I'm, I'm wrong I am got us I don't do not own a smartphone and I never will but come on guys if this hopefully try and hit home to people how bad it is right watch these pictures guys this is a little bit of an education right all right you see that one they're all watching I think it's Tiger Woods I'm not sure but everyone's got a phone and they can all just look with their eyeballs can't they but they're all recording. Why? Why would they all record when like one of them's recording anyway? You know what I mean? Okay, next one. That's an African person in a shed. <laughs> this person's in a shed. She's got a mobile. Well, it's a she. She's got a mobile phone. She's got a smartphone. I don't believe it. <laughs> Look at the house. It's, the phone's better than the house. What's going on? They're all doing selfies at the same time. I don't think they're all friends, like, they're probably all... Do you reckon they know each other? Or do you reckon they all... <laughs> do you reckon they know each other? Do they actually know each other? Or do you reckon they actually... Are they sending them pictures to one another, even though they're standing next to each other? Like, I don't know. Was it the same girl? I don't know. <laughs> like, right, there's another one. <laughs> Give her the rest. Look at this fella here, man. Everyone's got, <laughs> everyone's got a phone. Right, look. Look, this fella's an alien. He's got a real video camera. <laughs> he's there all looking at him going, you can't phone anyone with that. You know what I mean? He's like, he's going, state. State, at least I can film. Like, you know, watch. Statue of Liberty even got a phone, man. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> this is some kind of him. <laughs> Come on, 
folks before it's too late sell sell your sell your smartphones right get an mp3 player to listen to music get a really good video camera or camcorder to make films get a shitty phone a crappy little phone just to make phone calls you know what i mean if you need to make a phone call look at this dude doing a selfie what's he doing where is he why are you doing that I could understand if they were naked. That's just mental, isn't it? There's a Chinese lady. She's like um, speaking to her mum. Or it's probably a twin sister, I think. I think she's speaking, or is it a man speaking to his wife? And he's got a stall somewhere in, in China or something. I don't know. And he, but he's, I mean, the background's all like, oh, this is how they live in China in the market and, and, and <laughs> You've got a smartphone. What about this one? Everyone's got like microphones and everything like but most people have got like a phone. They're all like going like uh, well, I don't know what they're they all saying to him like my wife wants to have a word with you or like what's going on there man? This one I, I tell you I, I'm gonna the best one hasn't come yet folks. The best one hasn't been on yet. This is a live stream to celebrate. I've got over 200 subbers. Right, I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that school? What are they supposed to be doing? Are they all just... What, well, they're all waiting for something to happen, are they? I haven't seen the best one yet. Look, this one's like Infinity. She's on, on a computer. And she's got like... She's some kind of gamer or something. World famous gamer or something, right? And... If you can see, look, she's on the phone there, like, like looking at herself on the phone, right? Meanwhile, she's on the screen, and she's also got another phone there on a tripod uh, thing, like. Do you realise what I'm trying to tell you, folks? That if you, you really need to stop and think, oh, man, this roller coaster ride fellow was right all along. I don't know what's going on here. She's got this light that, like, it's a spotlight for the model or something. Yeah, right. And she's looking through it like whilst holding a phone, aiming the phone at her as a camera. And the spotlight is kind of like a, like a donut shape, so you can see f like through the middle of it, like you know. <laughs> this is a load of people watching a sunset, all holding up the phones. It's crazy, eh? I don't know if you can see these on 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 your uh, full screen and that. Like I don't know at, at the moment. I, 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 I probably <laughs> this is um I don't know what that is. That's like some kind of um like phone festival or something, isn't it? Everyone's got like like um do you reckon they're all speaking to each other on the phones or did you no, they're, they're filming something, aren't they? Alright, this is enough. Everyone right someone famous is arriving at this restaurant or something. Right. This guy's like some kind of like magical phone caller. He's doing some kind of martial arts. Like a, it's like he's like black belt in a smartphone and a selfie stick, isn't he? He's a black belt in a in a in a selfie stick. That's what it is, isn't it? It's some kind of martial art. Now it's been recognised as a martial art. This one's the best. Look, well, no, it's not the best. This isn't the best. Look. It's like the Madonna and Child picture. Madonna and Child picture, right? And everyone's filming it with the phones. Like, wow. You know what I mean? Wow. I wish I was there, you know what I mean? I, I really envy them people. I wish I was there, you know? This is like, like, she's like, you know, obviously there's like some kind of riot on or something like, and he's like a cop, like, you know, and he's going like, she's going, I'm filming you, you know, and he's going to her, I'm filming you. So look, he's like, it's like a like gunfight at the OK Corral, isn't it? Like like smartphone fight at the OK Corral. Um, I don't know. There's Donald Trump one. Like, well, if you can see him, like there he is. There. I mean, I'm gonna build a wall to stop Americans going to Mexico and ruining everything for those Mexican people. <laughs> This is the best one. 
This is number one. This is number one. Look at this one, though. Right. Some woman has got a kid on the phone, right? There's like a picture of a baby there, right? And she's asking the Pope to bless the kid. So he's like, okay, I bless your child. And he's blessing the child. <laughs> He's blessing the child. <laughs> on the screen with the phone. And, um, oh man, this <laughs> is the funniest thing I've seen in years, man. But well, look, man, he, and he must be holy because look, oh, he's wearing a cross, isn't he? And she must be devout because, like, well, the Bible says you should go and get tattoos, doesn't it? Like, see. She got a tattoo, hasn't she? She must be devout, because she's got a tattoo. Huh? So, like, he must be holy. <laughs> because of that, right? <laughs> and um, I wonder if he offered to pay a phone bill, like, you know, like, well, for the, like, the data time, so that he could bless the kid, bless the child. I wonder who that kid is now. I wonder where that kid is now. I wonder if, like, they become like um like the next day after this this was done, that kid was given a yacht, you know, or something like that. Oh, that's nothing to do with it. That's another picture completely. Don't just ignore that. That's that's one of my private from my private collection. Um But it wasn't that interesting folks, this um um <laughs> the way the phones that affect things. Um, anything else I can think of? Because uh, I'm going to get off in a minute. I, I know this has just been brief. Oh, look at this for me. This is a, an exclusive. Bruce's Independent Navy. You see? If there's ever a world war, the end of the world happens. I've formed the bin. It's called bin, you know, because most of us are rejects, aren't we? We're not really. We're ignored. So I invented this. B I N Bruce's Independent Navy and um <laughs> <there's> other... <laughs> Here's another picture of what was like Right so that's a good picture isn't it? Would you buy that? Would you buy that ten pound? Imagine it full size or above the telly above the um, fireplace. Look at this picture of me when I was younger. <laughs> and this is me with me missus when I was <laughs> that was when I was married <laughs> oh my word I just want to try and make people I don't know just <laughs> see if I can you know, cheer people up a little bit, you know. Um, yeah. But so if I was selling pictures, oh, isn't this picture? I really love this picture, right? Look at this picture. This is amazing. You know, like Edmund Hillary went to the top of Mount Everest, yeah? Edmund Hillary has made it to Mount Everest. Really, like, amazing feat. Hey, you ever heard of Edmund Hillary? Is it Edmund Hillary? Yeah, it was Edmund Hillary, wasn't it? Amazing feet, Edmund Hillary made it to the top of Mount Everest. <laughs> Look at this. It's like Joe Bloggs from 47 West Coat Lane, Felix Stoll, Mavis Johnson, and Alfred Benglin of like Birmingham. And then look at them all. Look at the queue. What are they? They're all going up Mount Everest. <laughs> Because it's so, like, it's so difficult, isn't it? So original, like. I mean, what are they, what are they? What are they trying? Oh, that's your own far he. I won't say nothing about that. Hey, hey there they are, look, look. Did they are. It's like, oh, we're not passing through. Like, I thought we'd just go up this mountain that no one ever, you know, only Edmund Hillary's been there, like, you know. What's the point of going there? <laughs> Let's go back a bit. Let's go back a bit. 
um, how about my videos? How about my videos? Uh, let me see. Videos, videos. Let me see what we got here. All right, let's see. Here we go. Look at this for for brilliance. I don't know. I don't know how this will look. It's Look at that, folks. Are you are you ready to join Bruce's Independent Navy? Hey, hey, you ready to join? Smart buying graphics design. Anyone wants to earn? Would you buy that? <laughs> Would you buy that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bruce's independent navy. It's the only way. It's the only way I could think of it. Like you know, um, I thought like you know. You know what, folks? There's um, there's a lot of videos going back. Um, back to the early days right and i'm wondering um has anyone ever bothered like made advice to anyone oh look at this folks this is a, a unique little work of art this is me granddad right this is actually me grandfather right from me on my dad's side this is me dad's dad my grandfather and he had a sad life really he was banged up he, he was mentally ill and he was sort of locked up in the in the sound so i put him in the middle of wales look Right, and you see how pissed off he looks there, right? Because that was the day he was banged up and he spent the rest of his life in an asylum, folks, right? So I'll put him in the middle of Wales because he had Welsh blood, you see. He's a Williams, right? His name's Williams and that, like. Well, I'll put him there, right? Now, tell me, it's like an optical illusion, right? Does he start to look like he's smiling, like he's sort of cheering up because he's like, he's in the middle of Betsy Coward, like, you know. <laughs> we'll do it again, look. Look at that for it, like a... <laughs> It's not done properly, this is just a test, you know, but I thought, isn't that a great idea? I'll do the rest of it in 3D, you know, it's in 3D, like, but... You sort of see his face, so it's like, oh, you know, as if he's like... I feel better here now. You know, it's like his head actually turns and looks at the camera, it's weird, man. That's actually me granddad, does he look like me, do you reckon? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that on anyone. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that on anyone looking like me. It's like, what are you looking at? Anyway, um, that's a work of art, isn't it? You know, it's kind of like strange and different and original, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, am I still going out live here, folks? I don't know. Um, oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Let's go. We might see some clips. See if I can share some clips with my viewers. And because um, I'm testing this, because I want to do this in. Um, oh man, what do I want to do? <laughs> I don't know. What's this? Um, oh, bloody no. Oh, there it is. Right. Um. movie tests right these are all videos of mine that if you go back on my channel and you go back you trace back and there's some stuff that people really shouldn't see but I'm not trying to lie I'm not like here's a good one go through the ma mazy tunnel what's this it's a bus ride through the mazy tunnel Enjoy the ride, folks. Okay, we're going into the tunnel. Don't worry about 
this video folks, it's just kind of like, I'm seeing a bit of live streams without any breaks, and I'm just doing a mishmash of stuff, to see if I can just like, just do a kind of like light hearted, like the, the roller coaster ride show, now look at this folks, we're already in Liverpool, watch this, see the daylight, we're actually in Liverpool already now, just getting into Liverpool right, we've just come from Baconhead, and now we're in Liverpool, go ahead. L-I-V, E-O-P. The, the cop was there, they arrested me about five seconds later when I got off the bus, like, but don't worry about that. Like, that's Liverpool Museum there, the big museum. We're turning the corner there now, now we're getting to the bus stop now, right folks, this is where it stops, this is where the journey ends, right? And now, from Liverpool back to Birkenhead. Look, I'm in Liverpool, this is going back the other way now on another bus. Bit jerky at first. Wait, 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 wait. We're on a bus in Liverpool. See, Liverpool, see, Liverpool. That's um, Dale. Well, not what's it called. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll get into the. There's the old law courts there, man. That's the original law courts. And look what they got: gargoyles. Cheeky bastards. Anyway, we're going into. The <laughs> there's the museum again, right? There's the tunnel. Wee! Oh, yeah. You see the camera reflected in the, in the uh, window of the bus there, if you careful about it. Right, let's watch how fast this is, man. I mean, it's all going back to Bergen. Obviously, I've speeded it up, like, from the vintage like, video collection of roller coaster ride. We're under the River Mersey now, folks. We're going under the River Mersey. We are officially down below the River Mersey. this bus man isn't this funny <laughs> isn't this funny I, I don't know I can't wait to check this video out to see if uh, it's posted or like you know it's just for comedy like, you know. right we're in Birkenhead we're in Birkenhead Birkenhead already what about that for a ride hey is that a roller coaster ride or what Right, in the distance you can see Birkenhead Town Hall. Oh, that's like one of the... Uh... Oh, they're Birkenhead anyway. They're Birkenhead Town Hall. That's gone now. Right, we're just... We're going to take the corner here. We're going to stop at a bus stop. What? Tickets? You don't need tickets on here, mate. This is amphetamine without drugs, isn't it? <laughs> See that building there? That was my old middle school. Eh? I used to go there. Well, that was my school. Here's Birkenhead bus station. We're at Birkenhead bus station, right? And then look. That's where I live. That's my block of flats. Years ago though, before they were customised. That's the pub there. That's a pub. Here we go. Look, look at the stays of me. Ugly fat monk. Look at the stays of me. Look at that ugly fat monk. What about that, like? Hey, what about that for a ride? That's not on YouTube anymore, that video. It was on my original channel, like, but I, I thought it was quite funny, like, you know. I know you might think it's boring and that, like. Um, anything else that is not on YouTube anymore? Um, Oh, come on, Bruce. Where's um, um let's see. Um, oh, it's not there. 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 All right. Um. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go back a step and let us um, try to understand. <laughs> What's this? Bruno video movies. Um, come on, is it here? It's not here. It's not here. Oh, 
Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, I've got to, I've got to take a bit of time and work out where videos are and stuff. But anyway, let's get out of there now. Let's kind of get back to the um, the big screen. There's still only one person watching. What's going on, folks? Now, could you see all that on the screen? That was a test. Um, to see if everything goes according to plan. Basically, you know, I aim to do some comical videos, right, folks, and share videos while I'm talking and stuff, right? Now, this is still live, isn't it? I'm still on live. And this is, it's basically a broadcast test, right? I need to know if I can do this kind of thing and it won't stop in the middle of it and, and ruin me dinner. So anyway, I'm going to get off, I'm going to leave you in peace. I just thought I'd do that, right? Now, that's, of course, jokes aside, I need to raise money to make um, <laughs> I need to raise money to make to buy to buy a new video, uh, a new computer. Oh, before I go, guys, I want to show you something I picked up in Liverpool. This is before I get off. This is a bit more comedy, right, folks? How about this for an antique? If my sister's watching, by the way, my eldest sister, my oldest sister, if she's watching this, by the way, what about this for a time warp? The Comet 4-in-1 Safety Hair Cutter. Cuts. <laughs> Cuts, trims. I'll just put this on a full screen. Cuts, trims, grooms, removes. Right? I, I managed to find this. I was going to do a video about it and just film it, you know what I mean? But I thought that's a bit of comedy. Think about it, man, you know. But, like, it's, like, it's in the original box, right? Look at this, man. This is so... I actually found this in Liverpool in an antique shop, right? And it's like, made in England, right? And then you go on the side of it, it says, Your personal hairdresser. <laughs> Your personal hairdresser, right? And it says, made in England. Your personal hairdresser, right? And there's, that's the front of it. That's the front of it, right? It's in the box. I actually got it in Liverpool in the antique shop. I spotted it like, I spotted it like, um, quite a while ago, a couple of months back, right? And then I got paid my social security and I was thinking, I literally, flew to Liverpool to make sure I picked this up. I thought, I've got to buy this, man. If anyone else gets this, I'm going to go mad. So I like, no. <laughs> right, it's an original. <laughs> it's from the 60s. Right. I'll open it, I'll show you. This is great, man. Am I still on? I don't know. I know I'm recording, like, so if it doesn't get streamed properly, right, and hopefully this is a live stream, right, But I think this is worth a fortune. Look at the picture. Do you want to see the picture on the back? Watch this. Watch this picture, man. <laughs> She's shaving the legs. Right. She's shaving the legs, man. Look. Shaves legs. Right. Your personal hairdresser, right? Watch my eye open it up. <laughs> this is funny. It is really funny to be honest. <laughs> Alright, take it out of the box. Right. 
Gotta be careful not to rip the box like look at this man. Look at this mate. <laughs> if me <laughs> if me elder sister is watching this, look at that for a blast from the past. Look at the razor, see the razor blade? It's got a razor blade inside it, like like look, see the blade? Like that's like the long one, like the long set and does the short one see the short <laughs> It's from the sixties. <laughs> There's the short blade, right? And you take, you flick this switch, right? By the way, this uh, blackness on my fingers. It's um, it's from I, I when I drink green tea. If there's anyone, don't anyone think that's like earwax or snot or anything, you know? Because like, um, I I make cups of tea, green tea, and I squeeze the tea bag, you know what I mean? And that's from off my guitars, look. <laughs> anyway, back to the subject matter. Like, right, if my sister's watching this, me, you know, me, me older sister, she'll remember one of these. We had one when we were kids, like, and my mum used to cut our hair with it. You know, we used to actually get. <laughs> oh, and a shave, like, I don't know. But my mum used to actually cut our hair with one of these. Right, it's like, oh man, look at that. It's like, me, what's it say? Pap pending, like, as if anyone's gonna wanna rip it off, like, pap pending. You know, like, just in case anyone rips them off, like, lock. See the lock, that's to change the razor blades, right? It's completely intact, look. <laughs> it's a man, it's a man. I can't believe it. I can't believe I found this man, honestly, it's like gold to me, there's like, right, this is the original mate, it's the original, the original, look it says, the original Comet, the original Comet, safety, it says safety hair cutter, like, <laughs> can you believe it? Right, it's gone. If you look with a magnifying glass, there's actually hair. There's actually hair still stuck in the razor blade, folks. You know what I mean? But like, I I just can't believe it. Like, right, this is the best part. <laughs> the instructions. <laughs> oh, I've been dying to share this on YouTube, but I didn't get round to it. Like, but I'm, like I'm doing it now. Like, I've had a bevy. I've had a drink, and I thought I feel like talking to the. You know, to the viewers and that with a bit of comedy and that, like, hey, look, there's the instructions, right? In the original box and that, like, let's wait till you see this. <laughs> what, man? Oh, man. Right, here we go. Right, what's that? Gotta be able to see the, the camera, like, the new Comet. Four in one safety hair cutter. Right, it says design registration number fifty one thousand and four hundred seventy nine. Like, and there's some chick looks she's calling the poor kid's head like, oh, so it's a kid in it. That's like that's what our mum. That that could have been my mum there. Like, going this is better than going to hairdressers, isn't it? It's cheaper than that, and you get a better cut. Better haircut than that, like. Right? And the poor kid's going, yeah, all right, mum, I'll do whatever you say. He says, <laughs> your personal hairdresser. Your personal hairdresser. Right. <laughs> it's so instructions. <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy. Right, it says instructions. Right, try and read it while I'm holding it up, like, so. Guide the comet. Safety hair cutter at a slight angle in the direction of the hair growth. Do not use pressure to clean the hair cutter or change blades. Move top part gently as indicated by arrow. Open lock. One set of blades will give you five to ten hair cuts. Depending on the thickness of hair. 
there's a picture of it open so you can see the razor blades like <laughs> sorry there I'm just um, belching or something Desi specifically designed oh sorry specially designed high quality fine steel blades obtainable at your favourite store for best results use only Comet Safety Blades Comet Products UK Limited 53A Shaftesbury Avenue London that's so like you know if you need to go you know any people when they were kids and they had the haircut like and they become terrorists and they need to know where to go like <laughs> for revenge to like wreak revenge upon the like, hairdressers right now here's the oh man there's more Right, there we go. Guarantee! <laughs> the guarantee. I'm trying to read it while it's on the camera. Right? The Comet 4 in 1 safety hair cutter is unbreakable. Well, I've still got one from the 60s, haven't I? So, and unconditionally guaranteed against all faults and defects, like missing parts of your ears. Was No, sorry. All part, all faults and defects in manufacture against breakage from normal use and will be replaced free of charge by the manufacturer in the event of any such defect or damage be your own hairdresser no skill or effort required. You can say that again. <laughs> it takes only seconds to be well groomed. Protective combs offer complete safety. <laughs> right, the, the Comet safety hair cutter is unbreakable and fully, fully guaranteed. Each tooth comb is clearly marked, cut, trim, groom, shave. The whole family can use the Comet safety hair cutter and it is available in various colours for personal identification. Right, and here's the pictures man, here's the best part man. For the correct, <laughs> for the correct use, see photos, turn the required comb towards the hair. Right, and here's the, here's the pictures, man. Look at these. Cut. Long hair shortened evenly. Oh, sorry. Long hair shortened evenly. Damp the hair and comb lightly. Trim. To keep well styled. What the poor kid. Bloody Nora. Never mind the paedophiles, folks. You know what I mean? Look at what, what's going on here. This is like Sweeney Todd. <laughs> for long hair use teeth for short hair use oh for, lo for long hair use long teeth for short hair use short teeth right and then there's a picture they groom to shape sides and neckline and then the bit the shave to remove smoothly dust lightly with talc talcum <laughs> And there you go, look at the actual in instructions. Can you believe that, folks? I, I thought, like, I was going to do a video on its own, I was going to film it and everything, I was like, I've got to share this with the YouTubers, you know, you've got to see this, like... Hold on, let's just do a little here. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> My eyebrows make me feel like I'm 15 years old. Look, well, I haven't opened this since I brought it home, just in case of what falls out of it, you know, like, because it's actually got hairs in it from the 60s, man. There's, there's the short one. You can actually see the hairs on it, like, I'm not sure. Is that a blast from the past? I mean, like I say, if all, if all Wendy's watching, <laughs> can you believe that? 
I had to pay a few quid for it, you know. It's an antique attack. <laughs> if, I went... <laughs> if I went on Antiques Roadshow with that, like... <sighs> oh, man. Is that mind-blowing or what? Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? Right, I'll just put it back in the box. Um... <laughs> I don't know if anyone's still watching out there, I'm not sure, like, but I have like a, a, a multiple of um, um, two viewers, I thought it was a one viewer, like. I very carefully closed this box because it's still intact. Right, and then, that is just pure gold, isn't it, guys? Come on. In the original box, what a fine day. What a find. I just saw, you know, I don't know if it's funny or you know, people think that's funny. I think it's hilarious myself. Because, like, look at this, right? I'll show you a similar thing. The original. Well, it's not the original, actually. I've actually got an original advert for Likewise, right? See this box? It's my little box where I keep stuff in, like, but like, you should be able to see this. Oh, no, it's sideways on, isn't it? It's got stuff in the box. Not an important life, you know, but I don't know. Should we have to see it like? Here's an original advert, guys. Look at this. Oh, it's upside down, isn't it? Alright, look at this. Here's this is from a magazine or a newspaper from years ago, right? Look at this man. Cut your own hair. And see the see what it used to look like, like a handle on it, like on a brush. Take it back a bit. It says save pounds for the whole family. Well, that was the one like in the 70s, you know what I mean? But well, that is even older, man. That's the 60s, mate. Isn't that amazing? What an amazing gem. And if, like, only, only in Liverpool, folks. Only in Liverpool could you find such an amazing antique. When I bought it in the shop, the guy goes, I used, my mum used to have one of these. And she used to go to him. <laughs> and I was like, so did we. Anyway, right. I'm going to get off now, folks. I thought that was quite funny. You might not agree. Um, but anyway, let's just check on still streaming. I don't know. What we got? Let's have a look. Hey. Yeah, I'm still on, aren't I? Ooh. How do you do that? Oh, look. Ah, that's the one. Yeah, I'm still on, aren't I? No one said a word, there's only one person watching. And uh, it's been about, I've done a mega, 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 mega production so I'll leave you I'll love you and leave you and this should go up automatically shouldn't it I have like only one person watching and like I say folks bear in mind I might be asking people for donations right and if, if enough people watch this video or any of my new subbers or whatever tell me what you think say yay or nay say yeah I'm prepared to send you some money but I'm prepared to sell prints or whatever it's only because I might need to buy a new computer. My computer's crap. And I feel like it's bugged as well. That's another thing. I don't really want to go on YouTube much these days, guys. I don't want to go online even. I'm trying my best to escape the internet. So, I love you and leave you. And um, I'll let you go. And uh, I'm going to stop recording first. Well, I'm going to stop streaming. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. YouTubers.
and I hope this has been quite funny. I don't know. I don't even know to be honest. I'm just I just felt like doing it, you know. But yeah, thanks for watching and good night from Birkenhead. I've got more I've got some more serious things coming up soon. This is you know, this all works properly when I watch it back. I'll be doing some better quality videos, but I thought, say I wanted to do a mega speech about something and you know, really deep stuff and and even give people an opportunity to ask me questions and that kind of stuff. This is what this test is all about, all right? So anyway, I'm still recording music, I'm still getting on with it, I'm still planning my tour or whatever. I'm, I'm hopefully some kind of videos where I'm in Chester or wherever, where the bus, I don't know. Hopefully I'll be posting something soon while the weather's good. And even better still, I'm getting over to Europe. I was hoping to play in Rotterdam, hoping to get to Rotterdam if it's possible. So anyway, I'm going to say thank you for watching. If anyone's watched live, the one person, whoever you are, <laughs> probably some kind of secret agent. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Good night. And uh, cheers. And I'm going to have another beer. <sighs> Wonderful. Stop screaming.